All right, coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Lewis Smolka and Wilson Hayes. So here is the former UFC flyweight title challenger, Wilson Hayes, fighting out of Alliance MMA there in Southern California. Eric Del Fierro in his corner, as usual. He's learned a lot from Dominic Cruz, and we've seen him incorporate some of those things into his striking game over the last several fights. This is a serious force at 125 pounds, Joe. This guy has some of the best throws I have ever seen in all my years of commentating. His timing, his delivery, and the power in which he delivers these techniques is beautiful to watch. Well, he was born in 1991, so Lewis Smolka is still on the right side of 30 and very much has championship aspirations, Joe, at 125 pounds. This is a finisher, not a lot of glaring weaknesses. Another big spot for the Hawaiian Lewis Smolka here tonight. He's very athletic, has a ton of natural quickness. You can see it in the way he moves around the octagon. He's got fast feet and a lightning quick jab. He's a very difficult guy to counterfight. As soon as you see the shot coming, he's tagged you. the tape for this flyweight fight. Hayes is seven years his senior. Smolka is five inches taller. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Wilson Hayes! And now we're going to see the opponent fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 11 wins, 5 losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting at a couple of Hawaii, Lewis and when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready to fight. Ready. Well, good to have you with us once again as the UFC returns here to the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. And we are underway. Look at that. Nice. Good defense there. Double jab there by Smoke. We got a fight, folks. Landed a big kick there. Look at this, take down. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. That's that core strength those judo guys have from throwing bodies around their entire lives. It's really exceptional. He postures into place. Oh, nice punch there by the Hawaiian Smoker. And he eats a right hand there. Under three minutes to go in round one. Big punch from the top. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Excellent posture here. Huge straight right from Smolka. Big punch from the bottom. Two minutes now to go. That one landed. Perfectly timed sweep. 
While maybe cranking the neck a little bit, the question is, can he get that rear naked choke? Got the arm underneath the chin. And now he's got that arm under the chin. He pops out of the rear naked choke. Transitions, now he's got both hooks in. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the way. And he executed a very nice sweep here and wound up in guard. Postures up here. Oh, hammer fist here by Smolka. 15 seconds. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Hayes. Round wow. two is next. Stop. Let's see some of the action here. Let's take a look at that again here. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from this angle. Brittany Palmer in the building. Ready, fight. Ready. Ready. All right, let's get to round two. That one hurt. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Cut misses. Wow! This could be it oh. right here. That's it. He's out. He's wow. out. The fight is over. Wow. Wow. Lewis Smoka. And he got the victory from ruthless, brutal ground and pound. Yeah, Joe, the finish comes courtesy of some outstanding ground and pound, and it's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent in a compromised position on the ground. It's another thing to try to end the fight, and that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after the next, and ultimately the knockout materializes. Nicely done there. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean called a stop to this contest at 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Lewis Dolez Henry Smoka. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.